Okay, family. I'm at Uptown Recording Studio. I'm probably helping them out more so than I'm helping myself. Either way, I used to stay at 915 West Wilson. This is your girl, Mary Lee. Apartment 409 after I was railroaded to be in Uptown. You understand what I'm saying? I'm in Chicago on Clifton and Broadway. And I was railroaded in this area in 2011. Now there's somebody around as always and you know, always harassing me. So, like I said, I was railroaded in this um, area. Nothing happens by mistake, okay? So, you know, don't get distracted or whatever. Um, after they made me homeless in 2008, when I was, uh, you know, falsely accused of disarming a police officer. Now, I did a lot of rapping in my room. The studio is, my studio apartment is not too far from here, 915 uh, West Wilson, uh, apartment 409, when I used to stay here. And I stayed in that apartment for like, two years I came through Breakthrough Urban Ministry on the uh, west side of Chicago and um, I had to move everything by myself on the buses and train you understand what I'm saying and it's real real hectic it was in a summertime of 2011 and I moved everything on the buses and train to get no help from the program that I was uh a part of Ur uh, uh, Breakthrough Urban Ministry, but I made it no problem, and they ended up kicking me out and stuff two years afterwards with a lease. You understand what I'm saying? When I went into place, it had bed bug, roaches, and all kind of things, mice. It was disgusting, drug activity and stuff like that. Nevertheless, I had nowhere to go, so I had to put up with it until they um, illegally kicked me out. And you know, I never knew about this, but I did a lot of rapping and singing in my room, trying to get through all the bullshit that I was going through. And because I didn't know about this, I'm pretty sure they was recording me. And I believe these people have the original recordings or masters or whatever and stuff. Now, one time I did come by here and this guy, he had the keys because white people you know, they end up with the keys to different places. See, drug dealers, they sell keys and um, we talking drugs, but white people, they sell, you know, keys for real. Once you get hooked on drugs, you're going to sell them everything. But I'm not a drug addict and therefore they have no right to have any of my masters or my uh, recordings or whatever I was doing in my room my studio not this studio and I'm pretty sure a lot of the uh, people from uptown because that's where I'm that's where I'm at Tupac you know he I believe he was in this area because I didn't know about this area until 2011 and that's the truth and, um, and I've been in Chicago a long time but because I worked so hard you know I wasn't aware of it and so this is how they got over and that's why it was so many bed bugs and roaches and mice in the room where I was from because it was a lot of dirty dealings and stuff. You know, people were selling their ass just to get my spot in um, rap. And because I am the founder of rap, you understand what I'm saying? And all that mumble rap bullshit I don't know nothing about, but that's just another form of rap. And I need, I need that money too, for real. So because I didn't get you know, drunk or I don't drink. They trying to find other ways to discredit me. You understand what I'm saying? I stay on the south side now, but I don't have a lease. But, you know, I did have to sign a lot of paperwork to get in. They think I'm on the contract. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't do contracts unless it's on your head, not mine. Because you can't trick a person out of what's theirs and stuff. So I believe they trick the babies when they're younger, when they put alcohol in their milk and then make them alcoholics and then they start learning how to write, they trip over all their uh, 
all the uh, businesses that their parents, you know, left behind. And, you know, I'm worth so much. It's ridiculous. And I got this card right here. And all you missing is an O. And it say Rotman. See, Rotman came all the way from Detroit with that gay, loud behavior, colorful behavior. And he was also supposed to be a foster child or whatever and stuff. But nevertheless, you know, he, he was on the Bulls team and he brought all that buffoonery to Chicago. And as a result, you know, people have stolen from my city. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why this looked like it's been robbed. See? See? That's all they doing is stealing. So, it's cold out here. I'm going to wrap it up. You know, when it get a little warmer. But, yeah. I believe they have all my original uh, recordings from what I did, you know, at 915 West Wilson. Apartment 409. I believe it's all connected. And believe me, I threw down. Because where I'm at now, on the south side, I'm throwing down. But the one on on Wilson, I really threw down. You know, because you got to get that shit up off your chest. And not only that, I'm a shy person. I don't like performing in front of people. I don't even like doing this, but, you know, I got to do what I got to do. So, yeah, I, I went up in there. You know, it's a nice little place or whatever, but that's not my story. I'm not here to entertain people. I'm here to just tie up some loose ends, that's it, and let people know that I've been railroaded, as you can hear. So come to Uptown, like I said, and you will get all the answers and stuff that you need to uh, proceed, if that's what we're doing here. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. Real talk. Don't be deceived. Do what you got to do, and the rest will be up to, you know, my higher power. Keep your fingers crossed, y'all. Love you. All right, gotta go. Have a good day.